Hey guys, so today's um, writing lesson is super exciting. We are going to continue uh, learning about our letter writing unit and how to write a letter. So remember yesterday I wrote a letter to my mom and I taught you guys how to write a letter. I taught you guys um, how to indent, which I'm going to show you on my return letter. I taught you guys how to address the person who is receiving your letter, which I'm going to show you on my return letter, and how to do a signature. Um, so we are actually going to be writing um, another letter today. Um, you're going to practice writing another letter. I'm going to link the, the other video um, that I gave um, in the description below this video, just in case you wanted to rewatch um, that video. Um, but First, I wanted to tell you how excited I am. Now, yesterday I wrote a letter to my mom and you know what I said, I asked her a couple of questions. I told her how, what I was doing during the time that we spent at home and guess what? She wrote me back and I got her return letter and I'm super excited about it. Now, my mom doesn't have lined paper like we use in our journal. She doesn't use paper with the skyline, plain line and grass line. Um, but she did write me a return letter and it has all of the components that I need. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, what she wrote. Dear Kelly, thank you for the letter. I am fine. I have been cooking too. I made bread and roast beef. I watched a movie. It was so good. I hope you have had a great day. Love, mommy. Okay, so my mom wrote me a really nice letter back and she answered all of the questions I asked her, which was really polite of her. The best thing that she did was that she started her letter by saying something really polite to me. So instead of just starting out, you know, by telling her or telling me um, what she's been up to, she said thank you for the letter I wrote her, which was really nice, okay? So let's read it together one more time. Dear Kelly, thank you for the letter. I am fine. I have been cooking too. I made bread and roast beef. I watched a movie. It was so good. I hope you have had a great day. Love, Mommy. Now let's go over the components of a letter that she used in her letter back to me. The first thing was that she addressed me. She said, Dear Kelly. She started the first line all the way at the beginning of the line, and she said, Dear Kelly, and then use that comma. Remember, the comma goes um, across that grass line, and it's like a little curve that just basically means I'm pausing. So when we read, it sounds like this. Dear Kelly, and we pause before moving on to the beginning of the letter. The second thing that she did was she indented. As you can see, my mouse is highlighting the part that she indented. So she left a little space right here that shows that she's beginning her letter. And she started with a positive and polite remark or sentence that said thank you for the letter I wrote her. The last thing that she did really, really nicely in her letter was she wrote a signature. Down here she wrote love with that comma and then she indented and wrote her name. That's what you have to do. You write love or from or sincerely or whatever you want to write or best wishes. You can use any of those, but you have to have a comma before you write your name. Okay? So yesterday we learned how to say from Miss Bauckham or from Anna or from Lana or from Gabriel. Okay? So any of our friends, whenever you say goodbye or whatever to the person that you are writing the letter to, you have to write whatever you say, so like love, from, sincerely, put that comma that I'm highlighting here and then put your name. Now, something that I wish that she would have done is ask me some questions so that I could write her back, okay? So now, as you can see, I'm going to write my mom a letter back, okay? Because that's a polite thing to do because we're gonna be pen pals, my mom and I. But I don't think she knew to, to ask me questions about what else I was doing, okay, because she didn't know that we were going to keep writing letters back and forth. But um, it's going to be a little tricky for me to write her a letter back because now she's, you know, answered all my questions and I don't have anything, you know, that 
she wants to know about me. She didn't ask me any questions. So next time that she writes me a letter, um, hopefully she asks me some questions that I can answer. Okay, that's why you always wanna ask the person you're writing to questions, okay? All right, now, in the next video that's gonna follow right after this, I'm gonna write my reply letter to my mom, and then you guys are gonna write another letter as practice today. See you soon.